left when the individual suddenly collapses or dies is nothing. And that and this is the stretching of that nothing, out of that nothing is, comes everything. And that is what is long for. Emptiness is fullness. Yeah. Nothing is everything. It can't be known, but it is the one thing that is longed for. What you long for more than anything else is absence of being an individual. What you fear more than anything else is absence. That's why this message feels very, very uncomfortable. So if I use a relative language, uh, the one that is on this, in this dream, the dream language, could, could one say, that when everything collapses around a person, so there's no longer the feeling, I am a person, it's just what is happening, is then automatically love, if I may use that word. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But unconditional love. Okay. There is only unconditional love. <laughs> Which is not nice. <laughs> the illusion that there is a time. which is how the individual lives. The individual lives in separation from life. So that doesn't mean, if, is there not a person that you can do whatever comes in mind? There isn't anybody that can do anything. There isn't anybody. <laughs> and then there is also not an, another person in front of me, suffering for instance. There could be. But you, you know, by helping somebody who is suffering may happen or may not. <coughs> but seeing that there is no one suffering is atomic. That is love. Can you repeat that? All the time that you, you are a person, what you will do is reinforce in the other person the sense that the suffering is theirs, that they are suffering, that it's happening to them. That goes on reinforcing that, that suffering energy and the investment in only is reinforced. If it's seen that there is no one suffering, that already is that unconditional love. And then see someone a blanket if he's freezing to death. Well, that's a rather more practical question. But <laughs> yeah, but this is somebody what we give, you would give them blankets or you may not. You may you feed starving African tents after a liberation, those things all can go on happening. But they're happening out of absolute unconditional love. Not out of the need to feel good about sending tents to Africa. Okay, this I don't know. <laughs> Most, all individuals only act out of selfishness. They can't do anything else. It's a hopeless situation. Because they long to be at one. And everything they do is, is, is out of that expression of longing. They build churches, they don't crusade as they It's all the desperation to find something which already is.